Rusty, this standing around and waiting for dusk is not working. Shit. Shit. I'm gonna talk to the boy. Come here, Gavin. What about if you change the time on your computer? Maybe that that might do it. Game. Oh, that's not worked. Do you want this this jumper? That's. Do you want this needle? That. Do you want this fishing rod? What happens nope. if we walk up the steps? Do you want this? We may find. I've not run out of things yet. I want this? This? Nope. No. Nope. We can't go up the steps. That's not an option. We can't go anywhere then. Right. I'll go and talk to him. Does he want the fishing rod? But I just gave it to the Put the jumper on his head to pull the wool over his eyes. Uh, I'd love to, but he's not actually an option anymore. Oh. Try the jumper with the shot. That's not... Can I try it with the chocolates? This might work. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <clears throat> Chocolate shop. Chocolate shop. I'm going to the candy shop. I'm just nipping for the candy shop. Do you want anything from the candy shop? No, 50 cent, fuck off. <laughs> this is working. He, ah! he might he might see my shadow. This, not a clue. That <laughs> from was fucking three foot away. <laughs> Great, I have the chocolate. Oh my God. So you get a bit of a clever engineering, that's what you needed. You basically need to not think like a normal Here's person your to play this game. Clearly. Give it to me. You're welcome. What did you want me to distract? The only the other person the here. <laughs> okay. I will steal his bag. I am good at that. Well, you're not Rich, if he's going to catch you. The boy has stolen the man's bag, and the man has run after him. Now the well's unguarded. It was well unguarded. Well unguarded. Jump in the well. Hey, oh, yeah. Throw the Jews down the well. Uh... I don't, I don't think, think so. so. <laughs> All right, we'll leave him for now. Then. <laughs> it goes down about four meters, mm. but as the inside of the well is rough, I can get my hands into the gaps Whoa. and get in or out without too much trouble. I like getting in and out of gaps. Without too much. Trouble. Oh look, it's Baphomet. Baphomet. I can't believe Bath it. Baphomet. The professor was right. The Templars were here. Great. I can't believe. Right, okay. Heap of debris. Brick. Brick. Hmm. Looks like something's hidden underneath it. Okay. It's too heavy to move. It's one half of a key. The Templars must have hidden the other part. What? But where? Behind the brick. Behind the brick. It's definitely behind the brick. Half of a key. He's going to use this brick to climb out. Forget now, that. It? It's too hard for my bare hands. The brick looks unsound, though. What? That was a sentence? Screwdriver the brick. That's, is that a keyhole? Next yeah, to It's alright, I've solved the problem. But yes, I've noticed that already. Smashing it with a... Uh, Having finished thing. off the brick with the screwdriver, the second half of the key is revealed. Yes. George Stobart, tracing the Templars again. Relentless. Just like the whole of this game so far. I, I would imagine. Two. Okay, there's two halves of a key. If you put them into the slot, this is going incredibly that well, I have to work. say. What do you mean it doesn't fucking work? Have you combined the keys? They're already one part, look. Oh. But it doesn't look like a key, does it? No, it doesn't. Maybe if I put the needle in there first, right, it might right, be jammed. Right click on them. Can't see it anymore. No. Right click on the keys. Right click in the keys. It doesn't work. Huh. These parts don't hold oh. together. Sew them together. We need glue. Is there any glue down here? We need that duct tape from uh, the train earlier. What about if I wrap them up nope. in jumper? <laughs> if I wrap oh, them up fucking in LJ. Ah. Well, what the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> Climb back out. Quicker than that, George. <laughs> I don't think there's anything here that's going to be helpful, is there? Well, we are stuck here. Back down the well. God. Click on Baphomet again. I will click on Baphomet again. Baphomet. I can't believe it. The professor was right. The Templars were here. Okay. Good. I have a thought. <clears throat> okay. I want this string back. That it's the best idea. Hey! What did you do that? Straight away. I right clicked yes, it. It fell to bits. Huh. I've made a key. It's fine. Bye.
Baphomet as I can hardly off. believe my eyes. It's the seal. Why are you surprised by this? We've outrun the Templars. We've made it. I must tell the professor. Hmm. No, you will never get this seal. Oh shit. Give it to me, Professor Aruda. Now. Quick hide. Even though you betrayed the order by your sudden disappearance, we will reward you. Never. George, run. I'm, I'm in a fucking well, dickhead. Oh, we'll see. Fucking Gleedo. See you back again. The feeling isn't mutual, to be honest. You have something that belongs to us. Oh, really? Flap, shoot the professor, and then get Stobart. <laughs> Was that a gunshot? Is that what I just heard? It sounded like a, somebody closing the boot of a car. Or a shoe. Or closing the shoe of a Am car. Am I in control? <clears throat> what am I meant to do? Throw this ball at his head? Yes. <laughs> Pick it. Oh, sh oh, I think we're dead. Yeah, you just did that. We're dead. Yeah, we're dead. We got shot. When was the last time we saved? Oh no! It's not. It's, it won't do that to us, will it? It won't do that. It's gonna. Oh no! You know where it is. It's here. Oh, you're fucking kidding! Well, we'll be right back, let's players. Okay, we're back. We're back once again. There, there's a thing. Quick, do that. Do the thing. I'm doing the thing. Deepening. Put it in the deepening. Put yourself in the deepening. No, I've done it. I'm in the deepening. A long flight of stairs. I guess it leads outside. Why? For safety. <laughs> Too late. Oh, it leads to a plane. <laughs> it's fucking game, man. <laughs> Fuck off. Meanwhile, back in French knickers. Oh, look, she's still not in. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's check the answering machine. Maybe she's called her. I've got one. Wait, that, is that a, there's a letter. There's a letter. Was that there before? That's a letter from Nico. She was here. No time for explanations. Take the next plane oh, from Paris sake. to Beijing. Ask for Bray. Ask where? Take you to the whole of Beijing. Trust me. <laughs> Just Nicole. get to Beijing and scream. Was there any point in coming back to fucking Paris? No. This is dead fun. Here we are at the airport. Good oh, no, evening, ladies we're on the plane. Gentlemen. My name is Jacques Gourmenu, <laughs> and I'm oh, your Jacques. captain for this flight. Look, we're the on the plane with um, rainy, but this will cause no delay on our Quentin flight. Tarantino. We yes. are scheduled to land at Beijing Airport in approximately eight hours' time. On behalf of myself and the crew, I would like to wish you a pleasant and relaxing flight. Would you like a drink, sir? Okay. Yes. I'll wait until the lady is gone and start my exploration of the plane later. Would you like a drink, sir? Yes. Can I have one? Ouch! What have you done? You poured coffee all over me. You mad bitch. Idiotic staff. And I'm even paying for this. Oh, I'm sorry. How stupid of me. Please let me clean this up. <laughs> dab, dab, dab. dab. I wanted... Penis, yes, give me that drink. Muscular, Muscular man. man. Passenger. A can of Coke is standing on the beverage trolley. <laughs> I'll have that. Thank you. Passenger. Why am I sat next to someone when the plane is fucking empty? Who knows? Uh, guess I'll have me drink. The Coke can from the trolley. Tastes best when cool. I think a little refreshment won't hurt. It won't. Great. I'm obviously too stupid to open a Coke can. That doesn't surprise now me. Now I have an unopened <laughs> Coke can and a useless piece of metal. Keep it. Maybe there's use another it. can in the trolley. Okay. Ah, he kept it. Brilliant. Well, that's always useful. I'm going to talk to this man. What man? The muscular man. Good evening. My name is George Stobart. It's daytime. Oh, hello. I'm Amanda. How are You're you, Amanda? George? Amanda. Fine, thanks. Well, I did Would need Amanda hugging kiss. <laughs> sure. I don't like flights where you only sit around and wait. So flights then. Tell me Obviously. something about yourself, Armando. Okay. I'm from Argentina. <laughs> 
I work there on a construction site, and in my free time, I'm a bodybuilder. That's so you're a building passion. builder and a bodybuilder. Sounds interesting. Incredible. What are you doing what here a combination. I'm on my way to a huge contest. Boy, You're on the fucking nap, plane to Good bloody... Luck, where were we going? Beijing! Not fucking Paris, then! You know, I used to be just as muscular as you are. Fuck's sake. It's a lie, but a little bragging won't hurt anyone. Really? Well, not much bearded left of it. <laughs> what, man? Sorry, the bearded George. man. Just kidding. He's looking um, at me now. Directly right, at you. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> not the character. He's staring at us in the face. Oh... Yeah, we noticed. See you later. Ta -ra. Ciao. Talk to this one. Stop looking at me. Good evening. My name is Stobart. George Stobart. Oh, my name is Bourne. Sigmund Bourne. Oh, he was a captain. Um, not really. Just a passenger like you, I guess. If I were the captain, you could probably tell from my uniform. Oh, please pardon me. I lost my glasses at the airport, and I have to admit that without them, I'm rather blind. Oh, you what, I'm please? lucky I got on the right plane. You didn't. <sighs> I don't understand what's happening. Talk, talk to these guys. Talk to the waitress about your can of coke. Can't. Can of can't. Look at the beverage trolley. Nothing left on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't have any coke left, sir. Give me a minute here and I'll find you something else. Right, time in yet. <laughs> I think I missed. Yep. Is, have we broken the game? Oh no, oh, what? Tell him you're the captain. I'm the captain. Um, hello. Are you enjoying the flight? Oh, uh, who are you? I lost my glasses in the airport. I'm the pilot. I'm your steward on this flight. Is there off. anything you need? Would you like a my drink? My name maybe? isn't Stuart. No, thank you. What do you have? Just name it. Oh, some fruit juice will do for the moment. Sure thing. I'll find some. How about we this haven't we haven't got any coke. Nothing left on it. I don't believe you. Use ring pull on can nope. of coke. You just can't put put the coke back. Uh, but then there'd be something so. on it. Open the beverage trolley. I'd rather not. It didn't work either. I don't know what to do now. Why don't you give him a can of coke? I'll I'll give him the yeah that makes sense. But he can't open it. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. This isn't going to plan, Krusty. <sighs> it never does, Jay. It never. Talk to him bloody again. does. Hey, Armando. Ah, oh, hello, George. Ta-ra. See you later. Ciao. That's not how you spell ciao. Do you want this kind of that coke? That doesn't work. Look Come at in. all the stuff that's on this trolley that's not on this trolley, apparently. Nothing left on There fucking Bullshit. is. Open it. That, that doesn't, doesn't work, work, Jay. We've already done it. Put cross on nope. beverage. That's all I've got, mate. Hmm. Uh, mm. Shut I don't up. Think that doesn't. Right. Do not interact with the beverage trolley anymore. That... If you do. Right. I would use a screwdriver on a coke can if I couldn't get in. Oh no. All right. What about that one? That's not a. What about this dude in the front row? Can you talk to him? I can't. Look. Nothing of him. Or that one. You can yeah, open the emergency yeah, door yeah, and yeah, jump yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. What about Angry Man? Can you talk to him? No, I've got empty seats. Not much going on here. Oh, there's someone else here. <sighs> Is there anything I can fucking think of? What about the overhead lockers? Oh, look at that. Well, hang on, let's, let's be the captain. I've got you exhausted my options as a captain. The overhead lockers, there's nothing. Okay, Absolutely good. nothing. Which means... Maybe if I be me normal. I've got no fucking options for that either. This is going really, really well. Here, do you want this ancient cross? I'd rather not. Fuck it. <laughs> you work it out. Well, I'm trying. Doesn't me help holding the mouse doesn't help. Yes, it does. It helps lots. Save the game. I'd we might explode at any moment. <laughs> is it that one? It's that one, yes. 
da, da, da. Oh. 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 The groins of the other passengers sure looked cosy. Right, use every option on everybody. Okay. What if I gave the jumper to Armando Swollen Nuts? That doesn't work. Did not work, Rusty. Hmm. Hmm. Young girl, get out of my mind. This is bullshit, Jay, an answer you should find. I don't, I don't understand. Better run, Jay. You're much too short, Jay. No. <laughs> doesn't work. <sighs> this doesn't work. All you can do is... Wow. Shut sure up. Tick. Hmm. Tick. Dick. I can hardly believe my eyes. Uh. I can... <laughs> Looks like a broken broom. Only the stick is left. It's a... Can we say anything to the other passengers oh, now that you? we've exhausted every option? Talk to Armando. Well... Hey, Armando. Yeah? Ah, oh, hello, George. See you later. No! Is there nothing? See you later. Nothing! Can we not? Ciao! Can we not? Oh, fucking Jesus. Oh, yeah, that just brings up the two options, doesn't it? Yeah, and there's nothing on either side of them. Whichever way you go, there is nowhere to go. What are we fucking missing here? Wasn't much can, going can on right there. Can we right-click the, um... Not much go... The fucking... How patriotic. Stuff. I never liked that kind of stuff. What? Okay. What, what the fuck did you just click on? I can't see what's in there. There's a porthole, but it's closed. Open it then. Yeah. Nothing left on it. Oh. Was, is there another option see. if you hover around there? I'm right clicking, mate. That's yeah. I yeah, I know, but I mean, like, it says beverages trolley and he just said he spotted a hole. How patriotic. I, I guess right click the people then. A man in his 60s, I guess. He looks kind of helpless. A well-conditioned young man. He reminds me of myself when I was a motorcycle courier. Oh. Obviously. These guys do dick all. Absolutely dick all. This is taking far too long. It's becoming suspicious. <laughs> Actually wanking him off. You've used everything with a beverage, try haven't you? Uh, it's got a porthole. I can't see what's in there. There's a porthole, but it's closed. And we've already tried everything with it. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The metal piece is too thick. Oh. Oh. At least we heard something new. Yeah, we did. Can we How do we get it thinner? Could we smash it with the anchor? That sounds fun. Uh, I said my shit I don't pigeon think so. impression. <laughs> that was pretty piss poor, mate. Hey, Armando. Hey. Uh, ah. See you later. Ciao. Ciao. No! Spelt wrong. Right, you fucking eat this. <laughs> hey, Armando. Why is this... Ah, uh, hello, George. Um, could you do me a favor? Yes! Depends on the... Yes. Well, but... I was wondering if you could bend this piece of metal. Hmm, I guess so. If you get me something to drink first, I'm so dehydrated and the stewardess isn't coming. The other guy is, though. 
I tried to give you a can of coke before and it wouldn't let me. But then I tried giving you that ring pull as well and that didn't fucking work. The game is backwards. By coincidence, I have a can of coke. The problem is, I can't open it. <laughs> let me see. Not even with the screwdriver in my mm, pocket. No problem for me. Did it with his dick. <laughs> uh, wow, you're really bread. strong. No, I just need something to eat. I'm working on it, but can you do me my favor first? Well, and give me a piece of your metal. I've given you that already. Oh no, don't tell me you... Here it is. I seem to have a sat on it. Here you go. How? It smells a bit like Argentine breakfast, but uh, I'm sure you don't mind. No, no, not at all, mate. No, it's Wow, fine. it's already bent. Bent perfectly, even. This guy seems to have well-trained buttocks. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Please... My <laughs> there we go. Open. Oh, please piss me. Perfect. Pop. Give us the drinks. Look. Oh. oh. All Quantro. of them. All of them. Tio Pepe. Uh, Remy. Or orange juice for the man. I had a thought orange juice for the man. Perhaps it's just fucking free for all. Just help yourself. Where's me? Here you go. Are you all oh, right? Thank you. Yeah, fine. That's just what I needed. Uh, that'll be six quid, please. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll drink this bottle of lemon juice. <laughs> 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 You're in control, mate. Have I just taken the bottle back? Yeah. Fucking have! Perfect. Talk to him some more. Okay. It's probably useful now. You've quenched his thirst. I have. With my dick end. With your dick end. Captain George. Would you like another this. drink, sir? Oh, yes. Can I have another fruit juice, please? Are you shitting me? Yes, I'll just piss in this empty bottle you gave me. Okay. Give him something else. Oh, we're going to have to. Fuck. Quantro? Yep. Works for me. That's that's almost fruit juice, right? Use Quantro with empty bottle. Is that is that a thing? Uh, well, the Quantro disappeared. And oh. the bottle's still empty. Fair enough. So how do you figure that one then? <laughs> Maybe it took it away from us because we thought we were irresponsible trying to get kids drunk. Here you or go. Something. Maybe. Thank you. This battle is empty. Doesn't matter. No, he has drank the Quantra. Hmm. This fruit juice tastes different to the one I had before. It's almost a little hot in this hot. I can tell at once this guy is used to this sort of alcohol level. That rum would have reduced the normal man to tears. So it was rum then. Oh, um, yes. That's a different flavor. Do you like it? <laughs> Can you get me a bottle of that? I'd be glad to. Do you just have a bottle of it? Tip. Do, do we... Well, presumably we haven't got a bottle of that anymore now. Because the fruit juice was gone. So presumably the rum has gone as well. Yeah, it has. Now but what? where has the rum gone? <laughs> I guess just keep getting them. Do you want to get the other one as well while we're here? Because we're clearly going to have to go through all of them. Birthday greetings, bottle of wine. You're alright. Fine. Fair enough, man. Your fruit juice, sir. Thanks. Tay, 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 potato. Potato, potato, potato. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stewardess, this man has done a dead. There oh, she so finally cleaned that guy. Uh, oh, blah, blah, blah. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Quick, moving on. Uh, Advanced. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I can talk to him now, can't I? Oh. Nope. Talk to him now, can't I? Yeah! Hello, Blandy. Do you like praying? Is this the first time you've traveled by air? <gasps> no, Where's he going? Fucking nowhere. Why, unfortunately? <laughs> Flying is fun, isn't it? That's what you think. But you Dick have no head. idea what goes on behind the scenes in flight companies. It doesn't bear thinking about. But it does. It's frightening. But it is. What do you mean? Well, um... There are secret poisonings committed really? by the stewards. 
Authorized by the companies. You'll forgive me for not buying a story like that. Yes, it's true. I'm a dietitian, and I know when food is off or even poisoned. The most used poison is hexanol. That's pure and unrefined alcohol, and it can cause death when it is mixed into food or drink, depending on the amount. Do you think we just accidentally killed that bloke? Companies <laughs> only put enough hexanol into the food so that it causes minor stomach aches. That means after two weeks in hospital, you're fine again. And the passenger just thinks he has eaten something that was off before the flight. Now come on, how could the companies profit from poisoning their passengers? You must speak quietly. About four million euro. How? The companies have a contract with the Board of Health which awards the company four million euro compensation for every passenger falling ill during the flight. Oh, shut up. It sounds obscure, but it's the truth. It's called Contract 20. You're called of course, the companies can't yes. poison anyone sitting in their flights. But there is a pattern to these plots. They always happen in a four-month rhythm. What's so intriguing about it is the fact that every single passenger talks about the strange pink color that the food had when they ingested it. But before anyone could ever follow that lead, the food was gone. Maybe the food was just off. Things like that happen. That's why you're wrong. The pink coloring only occurs when the food is treated with hexanol. Or pink food No other chemical yeah. creates such a reaction. What is important about it is whether it is a light or a dark pink color. If it's the light one, there is no lethal threat to life. But if it's the dark, you can say goodbye to life. <laughs> Do you see behind that curtain? The stewardess is putting a little red file into the cupboard. That's it! She's only waiting for the order to use it. And when it comes, bang! It still sounds <laughs> bang, a bit unlikely. Bang, you're ill. <laughs> the stewardess might be doing any number of things. Just be alert. You have been warned. By oh, okay. a dickhead. Wee. Apparently her face was done on MS Paint. It does look that way. Uh, I guess I guess we're done then. You have to come out of the conversation, mate. Oh, bloody do, don't I? You only bloody do. Oh, what are you doing? Nothing, apparently. Okay, that's good. Okay. No, you don't need to walk. Not down, much mate. going on here. Okay. Oh, we're back in the land of I don't know. Got Nothing. For that. Can I uh, give him some wine? You want some wine? I'd rather not. No. <sighs> Can we do anything with the front guys now? <gasps> Seat? That's where I... That wasn't there before, was it? It was not. Even though I was sat in it. I guess we're finished then. And we can do a sitting down and we'll arrive in fucking China. Hmm. I wonder what the in-flight magazine has on offer. Is your drink, sir? No, it's oh, pink. pink! I didn't order anything. Oh, your neighbor in the next seat did that for you. Good evening. My name is Monsieur Bray. I felt He's the guy we're looking for. Drink as a courtesy. Is he? Ask for Bray. Say um, nah. I forgot. Nah. I, I didn't hear what he said. He said, I felt obliged to buy you a drink as courtesy. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't drink alcohol. Are you sure? It's really good. Then you have it. I'm sorry, but if you like it, feel free to drink it yourself. Ah, uh, no, no. I've had two already. As you wish, monsieur. <laughs> I'll just hover. Like a dickhead. In a syrup. Oh, what's this? He's dropped his aubergine. Quick, pick it up. Pick up the aubergine. Oh, it's a wallet. Oh. What's it? Pick up the coins we can buy an ice cream. Should I have scruples? Yes, but I take the money away. What? I, I don't know. What's in the wallet? This game is knackered. <laughs> Put it back, George. I'll have a closer look at the wallet. Fucking right, you will. Prince Chen Zhang of Zhang. And Christoph Bray, 18702. Okay, glorious. Let's see what else is in there. This man wanted to kill me so I don't find the boy. Pardon? But if what Bray boy? is on that photograph with the prince, it means that I'm coming too late. Uh, the only uh, thing they need now is the seal. Lucky I have it. Oh, shit. You have the seal? Oh, no, no. No, bollocks. Too much of a stir. We're fucked. Okay, but I warn you, 
I get claustrophobic in small rooms. We're so fucked. Save the game, save the game. You have the steel. Destroy it now. What are you talking about? I'm not a Templar. I've heard that before, mate. Perfect! Do I really want to save it now? Yes! 